Guys, our friends at Ridge have done it again. After creating the world's greatest wallet, they have now launched the Ridge key case. You no longer have to be bulked down by your old jangling keychain. You gotta try it out for yourself. Click on the link in the description below. Use the promo code CHAIL, that's gonna get you 10% off. And look how good it goes with my Ridge wallet. The Ridge key case secures between two and six keys. It organizes your keys in a compact silhouette and folds out for easy access. There are six colors and styles, including carbon fiber and my favorite, burnt titanium. The Ridge team is so confident that you like it, they're gonna let you test drive it for 45 days. If you don't love it, send it back, get a full refund. Go to ridge.com slash chale to save 10% today or just click on the link below. All right, time out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, 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 stop. RDA. RDA is one of the fighters that I respect the most, truly. Truly. There has not been anyone that I have ever witnessed with as part of a schedule as RDA. I mean, you want to talk about these pound-for-pound -pound greats? You want to talk about the St. Pierre's and the champ champ? What about John Jones and how great he is? Which he is. He leaves 205. He's going to go up to heavyweight. John Jones took two years before he would go to heavyweight to adjust to the weight class. I mean, I'm bringing that. That's very relevant. RDA goes 55 to 70. He'll do it in a month. I mean, not for nothing. RDA will do the same thing that John Jones is taking two years to even sign a contract to do. That's a true statement. I have never seen a schedule. I have never seen a guy as willing. And one thing you guys don't know about RDA, he won't say no. You guys see him fighting all the time. He'll go do a grappling match. If Abu Dhabi call him and invite him, Abu Dhabi's up in a month. This is a true statement. I guarantee you I'm right. If Abu Dhabi calls RDA right now and tells him he can get in, he'll, he'll go grapple in a month. This is a, this is a competitor. He also has a language deficit. I mean, in all fairness, he does. I've got, I, I, have, I have to amend a statement. Okay, here's what RDA said. RDA said, he did this on Twitter. He did this for all of you. He came clean, which I think you should also appreciate, not hold against him. Here's what happened. I'm jumping out of order. RDA comes out and says, my, my, my last championship run has happened. And it is over. Didn't state the weight class. Appears that he does not care if it's 55 or 70, which further strengthens my point of what a badass this guy is. The, the, the run is over. He is now going to do fights that motivate and wake him up in the morning. He asked specifically for a veteran. He then offered names. He said, Clay Guida. He said, give me a rematch with Tony Ferguson, with Masvidal. The UFC is specifically for champions and contenders. It is the brand. You, you could find some fun along the way, and you're going to separate that by 10 years. You can go back and show me the night that James Tony got in there. We could fast forward and CM Punk and Brock Lesnar, right? It's a little bit different situation. I'm just sharing for you. It's for champions and contenders. But I need to clear what RDA is saying. He is not removing himself from this group, okay? There is an island that also exists. When I tell you it's for champions and contenders, I'm quoting Dana White. I'm quoting 22 years of business, but I'm using a broad stroke, okay? There is an island that exists. By example, Nate Diaz lives on it. By example, Conor McGregor lives on it. Conor McGregor's championship run is over. That's true. That's mean. And Conor did not come out and tell you guys this. He's not aware of it. Old Chael was in the same I mean, way. Just get this, right? The whole world can see what we as the athlete take about two more years to see. RDA has done nothing wrong here other than come to you and come clean. And I read a thread. I go to the Underground Forum. It's a great, great place to go news, but I also have a comment section on my YouTube page, and I am on that thing faithfully. Do you ever see a response if you happen to care? Because I'll respond to somebody and say, hey, Chael, is this really you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they're giving RDA a hard time. They're saying then you can't be within the UFC. No, excuse me. Excuse me. There are many a men, and that means human, women's division, men's division, the championship runs are over. Some of them never began. 
Many, many were on the regional circuit that put a good string together, came through meaningful organizations. The FCFF, the LFA, back in the day, the Strike Forces, the WECs, many of men, but they were not going to become the UFC champion, but they deserved the right. They did. They earned it. They were top 10. They were top 10, 15 guy on the globe. All RDA has done is come and tell you. Now, here's the message. Please don't, don't misunderstand this. When I talk about the island, okay, I said Conor McGregor's on I said Nate Diaz is on it. George Masvidal is on it. I believe Dustin Poirier has moved into it, a very elite group. You guys would be blown. I had no idea how popular Dustin Poirier. I knew he was a big, I had no idea how popular he was. I was in an arena with this guy recently. Oh my goodness, they went crazy for him. Nick Diaz, should he return? There's, there's some guys that whatever they do, and I tell you, Conor McGregor's championship time is done. Conor McGregor's record setting isn't. Conor McGregor's live gate is not. Conor McGregor's pay-per-view, these things are not done. His time in the spotlight and his time as a main event, these are not done. Not at all. But you guys did that. You guys elected Connor, along with the Diaz brothers, along with George Moswell, and I believe you've now elected Dustin Poirier, and RDA is asking your permission to cross. He came to you openly. Not a manager, not behind the scenes, not turning fights down, not skipping practice. Quite frankly, he didn't ask for anything easy. You think Clay Guida's an easy night? Go say that to Clay Guida and get back to me. You think George Boswell's an easy night? Think Tony Ferguson's a night off? Go say it to him again and get back to me. He did ask for it. It's a small ask, but he's asking permission to cross. And he's doing it publicly. It's a big deal. He did not put himself in a position. He did not eliminate himself from contention. He did not take himself out of what the UFC brand is specifically. No, he did not. I don't know what Connor's record is in his last fights. I remember his last one because it was Poirier. He didn't win. And I remember Nate's last fight because it was with Leon and I, I happened to be there. These are main event guys. These are stars. George Moswell happened to be there. Colby Covington. I don't, I don't believe he won a round. These are stars. You did it, though. You put them on the select island. And this is what RDA's asked for. And all fair guys, what's he ever asked for? What has RDA ever asked us, the community, for except damn hard fights? Who hasn't he been in? They've been in there with Kobe Covington. Been in there with Kamara Usman. Not even a pay-per-view. By the way, I might, I might mention for you. He didn't care. Five rounds. With Kamara Usman. I mean, not for he Been in there with Khabib. He went out there in front of me against Cowboy Cerrone twice in the same day. You guys might not even know that. Story. I'm not making this stuff up. RDA is a thing of legend, truly. Truly. Any weight class, anybody just removed himself from contention after being a co-main event in a fight that he won. What? What? Please don't give him a hard time for this. He's coming to you. He's asking you. He's talking to you. Not to mention... Those are some damn hard fights he's looking for. He's just asking for a veteran, and he's a veteran. One thing that happens in this sport, and I'll give you my final thought on this, you don't get better as you do it. People believe that you do. And there is for sure a tipping point. There is for sure an experience that gets you better. If you're in a grappling tournament, maybe you're able to do some wrestling, get a competition here. Maybe you're in a town, you could get in there and do a little box, kind of work your way up. Get into the cage, and you for sure do get better. When you're, when you're at the level of RDA, when you're going out there and signing for five rounds against Dermaga Medov, against Usman, signed up against McGregor, don't forget whether it happened or not. Diaz, oh God, I could just play this game off the top of my head. You leave a part of yourself in there. You, you, you don't leave with more strength. You have so many bullets in the chamber. It's just an adage, but it's, it's one that I'll give because I think that you'll understand. You have so many bullets in the chamber, but you didn't load the clip. 
It's not a matter of you got a revolver and you're guaranteed six. It's not a matter of you got a semi-auto and you got 11 plus one in the chamber. It doesn't work that way. You didn't load the clip. You don't know. And RDA is recognizing something that probably is coming from the practice room. And I say that because some bitch was just a co-main event and won. So there must be something that he's discovering. And instead of keeping it to himself, instead of trying to cash checks with Dana and trying to try to dupe sponsors, try, instead of trying to get huge placements and takes it for somebody else, he's handing them the baton. It's a very sweet thing that he's doing, and he's asking you for permission to cross, and it's the first thing he's ever asked for. I don't get to make this decision. You guys do. Please tell RDA yes.